Connecting Central Texas. This is 25 News. Thanks for joining us. I'm Joel Lopez. Here's a look at your top stories. The family of specialist Vanessa Guillen says the remains found near the Leon River have been confirmed to be that of their loved one. On June 30th, investigators found human remains about 20 miles away from the base. The Army Criminal Investigation Division has yet to independently confirm the identification. Meanwhile, one of her suspects in her disappearance is dead and another one is due in court tomorrow. 22-year-old Cecily Aguilar's first court appearance is set for tomorrow in Waco. If convicted, she faces up to 20 years in prison. A Falls County patrol deputy has been held at knife point last night. Authorities say the suspect by the name of Damon Vanderbilt snuck up on the deputy, held a knife to his throat, demanded the keys to his patrol unit. This led to a physical altercation during which the deputy was able to call for backup. Vanderbilt was arrested and is being charged with aggravated assault on a public servant. A hit and run this morning in Temple left one man dead. This near the intersection of Bird Creek Drive and Southwest HK Dodge and Loop. Reports say a white SUV allegedly hit a person on a bicycle and then took off. If you have any information, you're asked to call authorities. Now it's time for a check on your first alert forecast. And I'm meteorologist Josh Johns with a look at your updated 10 day forecast. Low 90s possible for the next few days, about a 30% chance of thunderstorms. Winds will be variable at about 10 miles per hour. Then we get into the later ports of the week and that's when the heat will really start to build. In fact, we'll be talking about temperatures getting up towards 103 by the time we head towards the start of the new week.